totally new Nissan Altima. Welcome once again to PlayStation Spotlight, where we dissect the biggest games in the PlayStation universe. Today, Capcom's classic, Devil May Cry. What's he crying about? He just heard you deliver that line. Now let's get to the highlights. Join Dante as he attempts to save the world from damnation. Mesmerizing graphics and bone-chilling effects will captivate you for hours. Battle an onslaught of demonic marionettes, unearthly phantoms, grim reapers, and other wretched souls. Build up power to transform into a demon state and unleash the pain. Take that! And that! The creators of Resident Evil deliver another terrifying thriller in Devil May Cry. Available at Future Shop. Did you see that lethal sword and two-fisted gun action? This game just oozes testosterone like my overzealous counterpart. Check out this contest clip and get ready next week to face the music with frequency. You could win a PlayStation 2. Just watch Sports Central Early Edition or log on to sportsnet.ca for details. You do something to me. Something that simply mystifies me. Tell me why it should be. You Introducing the 2002 Hyundai Sonata. More power, more room. More desirable. The Hockey News leads Sportsnet's NHL coverage every Monday. We have great interviews, solid features, and of course the odd question. Like, when both players are 100% healthy, Nick Kiprios, who would you rather have, Mario or Yarmer? Well, both are great players, but I've seen the way you've sucked up to Ted Rogers, the new owner of Sportsnet <laughs> here. So, you know what? I'll say I'll pick the owner of the NHL team. I'll go with Mario Lemieux because I know how grossly overpaid you are here. Did I mention entertainment the odd lie? Joni Macek, the leader here in Rockingham, NASCAR on TNT, bringing you the 33rd race of the 2001 season. And Macek has been dominant through its second half. He's out in front now by 8.8 .8 seconds over the new second place runner. Kenny Wallace just took that position away from Johnny Benson. Here comes Matt Kenseth. Sneaking up there, trying to get back on the lead lap. Yes, sir. But as we found out yesterday at Rockingham, the races aren't over till they're over. Yes. <laughs> Weren't with us yesterday. Caution led to a red flag with three laps to go. The restart came with one lap to go. And the guy who was dominating the race ran out of gas on the restart. <laughs> but, you know, they had a, a caution flag. And with three laps to go, nine cars on the lead lap, eight of them stopped for tires with two laps to go. That was the most unbelievable thing. And the leader, Jeff Green, decided to stay on the racetrack and not fit. Well, I don't know where he would have been. He was not going to win the race with four used tires. I don't know where he was going to finish, but he did run out of fuel and finish ninth. Rusty Wallace was on pit road a minute ago for an unscheduled stop. Marty? Yeah, Alan, and this is the problem sometimes with racing at Rockingham or racing anywhere, really, where it's so tight. You can see Rusty Wallace's right rear tire. No pressure in the tire. Here's what happened. The valve stem got knocked out of Rusty Wallace's right rear tire when he made contact with Stacy Compton. There's scrapes all the way around this tire, and the valve stem's gone. Of course, the pressure in the air is going to leak out once that valve stem goes. Did a good job to keep from crashing then. Yes. Yep. So that puts Rusty back in 23rd place, three laps down. Uh, check that, two laps down to the leader. Now, Rusty only took two tires when he did come in. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Usually two tires doesn't help you out a whole lot here at Rockingham. Rusty working his way by Dick Trickle, 71 car. And Stacy Compton. Uh, we just talked about that made contact with Rusty Wallace. Well, Trickle and Compton are actually racing for a spot. That is for 34th place between the two of them. What a clean race this has been. Only two caution flags. You know, since they've been running 400-mile races here at Rockingham, the fewest number of cautions we've seen have been three. No Rockingham race has ever been run caution-free, by the way. But we've only had two today. One of them was on the very first lap when Kyle Petty and Bill Elliott crashed. 
The other caution in the race was back at lap 177. Mountain biking, kayaking, whatever you're doing, the Subaru All-Star Sale has a lineup to get you on your way. The stylish legacy, the rugged outback, the versatile Forester. Each has full-time all-wheel drive, so getting there isn't the problem. Deciding what to do first is. See these stars today at the Subaru All-Star Sale. Not many topics are off limits in the locker room, except for maybe erectile difficulties. ED is a common medical condition that affects one in three men. ED can be associated with diabetes, hypertension, prostate conditions, and may be an early warning signal of disease. Talking about ED can be pretty tough. Only 15% of men ever get help, and even fewer know the facts. It's time to get the facts. Get the most out of life. Today, I'm gonna break the ice with some total strangers. I'm doing a refreshment comparison. Can they interest you? Come on, step in the shower. <laughs> You're gonna put me in. Oh, it's not very cold. There <laughs> we go, how does that feel? I feel great. Would you believe me that I have all the refreshment of this shower in a piece of gum? Have you ever tried new extra polar ice gum? Yeah, we'll do it this way. Tell me, what do you think about the gum? Bursty. Bursty? Do you think there's anybody else that wants to jump in the shower with us? I think this gentleman right here. You want to get in the shower, chum? to go at Rockingham. Joe Nemechek is your leader next weekend. Our NASCAR coverage moves on to South Florida. Homestead Miami Speedway. Bud Hole qualifying is Friday at 3 Eastern time on CNN Sports Illustrated. Then Saturday we'll have Winston Cup final practice for you on CNN SI at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. The Bush Series season finale is on NBC at 1.30 in the afternoon next Saturday. And then next Sunday, the Pennzoil Freedom 400. Big star-spangled patriotic celebration for Veterans Weekend. Plan for the free race. We'll show you that as well as have live coverage at noon Eastern time. Jeff Gordon could theoretically wrap up the NASCAR Winston Cup title in the race next weekend at Homestead. But he's sure not helping his cause any today. He's running in 26th place. Two laps down to the race leader. It's been a miserable day for Gordon. And his title rival, Ricky Rudd. Eighth place. And one lap down. That's how far that Jeff Gordon's behind Joe Nemechek. Almost 78 seconds. And the point differential between the two, if the race finishes with them running where they are now, 323. Jeff Gordon, to lock up the title at Homestead, will need to have a 370-point lead or greater at the conclusion of that race next Sunday. So... Poor performance today. Probably going to send that one on to Atlanta. We'll see. Rudd could have problems early next weekend. You don't know. And we've still got 24 laps to go here yesterday. At this point in yesterday's Bush Series race, Jeff Green had a romp. I I'll tell you what, Joe is sliding that car all over the place. Right now, these guys are just trying to keep these cars as, as straight as possible. It's almost like driving in slow motion because the race track feels like ice right now. And if you watch through the windshield, you can see Joe's hands moving left to right. He's trying to keep that car pointed in the right direction as much as he can. There's just no grip left in the tires. Bad news for Joe Nemechek. Second place, Kenny Wallace, is consistently last faster than he, lap after lap. Question is, is there enough time for Kenny to get to him? Oh, I know what he's doing. It's 23 laps to go. We're commercial free to the finish after this break. NASCAR on Sportsnet, brought to you by Coors Light. 